practice modified racing. Side by side down to turn one and two, the 43 of Jay Peppin. I believe it's his birthday here today, so trying to have a good run here on WOW One Day Painting Night here for the Young Drivers Community Vintage Modifieds. The sponsor on that 43 car. So far stuck up on the outside, can't quite find a lane to get down to the bottom. Now he's got the 8 of Ricky Williger and the 15 of TJ Marshall, potentially the 84 of Jeremy Martin as well, lined up on the bottom.
Marshall putting pressure on our race leader. The real big battle though is for that third spot. The one of Mike Hahn is all over the back of the seven of Quinton Murdoch. Hahn and that Grisdale Racing Products Burlington Mazda entry. Trying to see if he can get underneath the seven of Murdoch and he will. This time down the front straightaway, the one of Mike Hahn up to third, slide the seven of Murdoch back to fourth. Just behind them, the 14 of Scott Tonelli in that car star. Cambridge car star, custom signed graphics, sponsored entry. Hanging on the back end of that top five position. In the five of Ian back retired, the prize the prize is entered. The 43 of Jay Peppin just behind him, that's the battle for six and seven. Peppin in that wild one day painting entry. Jessica James in the B&B stickers and scuff sponsored entry. And then the 57 of Joey Wolseley rounds out the field. Wolseley in the London Brothers Topsoils. Rob Wells trucking creative edge graphic sponsored entry. The battle for that race lead is still on as TJ Marshall is all over the back of the 8 of Ricky Willard. They're going to go over the 57 of Joey Wolseley. Marshall's got to pay a little bit of attention though. The one of Mike Pond is really creeping into his rear view mirror as well. Now we're going to have a three car way battle for the race lead with five laps to go. Williger holding on to that top spot, but who knows for how long as TJ Marshall is hounding that back bumper on this aid machine. Mike Pond trying to join into the party as well. Pond with a big wiggle down off of turn number two. Problems with the one of Mike Pond. Pond is slow into turns three and four. Down on the apron through turns three and four. The one of Pond is going to link that machine once again around. Big problem with the one of Pond. We'll see if he can get that car into the pit area or down into the infield. He continues to link that car around. Now there's some problems with our leaders. Coming through some lap traffic, the one of Pond and the 57 of Wolseley, the 5 of Ian McIntyre and the 43 of Peppin had to split those two cars. The one of Pond trying to see if he can get that car to the garage area. The white flag is on the speedway though, last lap for the end of Rick Williger. Williger down the back straightaway into turns 3 and 4 for the final time. Off of turn four, checkered flag in the air, and feature win goes the eight of Ricky Williger. Coming home in second is the 15 of TJ Marshall, then the seven of Quinton Murdoch. Coming home fourth, the 14 of Scott Tanelli, and rounding out in the top five, the five of Ian McIntyre. Down here in quick, quick victory lane, an epic racewear victory lane for the young drivers, Canadian Vintage Modifieds, here on WOW One Day Painting Night. For the Vintage Modifieds. And he's going to climb from the car and grab the checkered flag. Fans, put your hands together for your feature winner, the eight of Ricky Williger. We'll grab a word here with Ricky. You had a couple restarts there. You got this eight machine out to victory lane. You held off that hard charge from the 15 of TJ Marshall. How was this eight car working for you guys tonight? Oh, the state car was amazing. It was on rails. It was amazing. It was probably the best night I've had, for sure. I know you got a lot of people in the pits and sponsors you want to give a shout-out to. Who who do you want to give a shout-out to for getting this eight car to victory lane? Oh, uh, for sure. Biggest shout-out to Ron Easton of Oakville Trailers. He almost taught me everything I, I know, and he's set up the car amazingly. I couldn't have done without him, for sure. And my dad and everyone, my whole team, just thank you all. And thank you to the fans for coming out. Couldn't do it without you guys either. There you go, fans. How about a round of applause for your feature two winner, the eight of Ricky Williger.